starting off with part two. Change save file. I don't know why it's saying we're still on trip tip tap when we already finished. Okay. Yeah, it's saying rewind. So we already did that part. So now we are in episode two, which is smoke and mirrors. And this has nudity. So I hope to God I don't get flagged on this on Twitch because I don't want to lose my account. So I'm praying. I'm, I'm really do I'm really praying right Mr. now. Mr. Toad. Do something, Big V. Oh, the subtitles are on. Completely tears up the place. That always happens. Whenever the episode starts, you have to. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! You've got something on your face. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Talking about you, stupid. <laughs> Whenever you shut the episode, they never have subtitles. Says you are. Never ever. Please, Big V. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasant. I just want to add the subtitles real quick because they're they're really bothering me. Resume. My apologies. I said this Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> but he said if all of this ever got back to me, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill me. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl named Fuck, man. This fucking laugh dog. Come sniffing around this place with the rich fucks in the world. Need to shake down. Yeah, right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Sorry, I'm munching on these chips right now, bro. They're very divine. So we left off on a really crazy cliffhanger. They're extremely crazy. Crazy cliffhanger. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe Jeez. get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. And really, do you I know? do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... And what? And what? That's what I thought. Count out anger the wolf. I'm trying to help you, Big B. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? Exactly. No, didn't think so. You're 
Your nose is bleeding. What the hell? Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Remember this part, please. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. I do not remember this part. I'd be flipping the fuck out. I'd be like, I didn't do this shit. Listen to what I think it is. We have to go, now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. Jeez. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Jeez. Hurry up. Said God destroyed the evidence. His chip's busting though. I'm like, take the photo, take the photo. Don't leave it behind. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. You're welcome. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Of course yeah. it was. Well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved. It could have been his twin. You don't know that. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody. Whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. How about it? I wonder if we're actually going to get to see the king. I I've been know what you think in the be. second part. It's been one full be night and a slice of morning, and I already miss it too. And we talk shit about her the other day, Crane. You fucking psychopath. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Yep. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Uh, yes, sir. Show sure has. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking when you saw her last? I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was, I guess, fine, I suppose. Careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. And I fond of her, bro. Snow was Chef's kiss, bro. She's an angel. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. No shit. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. Hopefully not. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. Jeez! We done cracked the door. I don't think that's ever happened to me where I've been so pissed like I break something. Then again, I don't think I'm that strong enough, to be honest. So. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. Cut his ass. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I don't think I've broken controllers. I was just chatting with our new friend. 
little you friend. He's a big friend. To back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. Ichabod, no violence. shut your ass up. You're a Whatever freaking you wuss. Say, Ichabod. You're a wuss. Lee, aye aye. Hello, Big B. Oh, and I want to punch. I want to give him the London oh, look and take one of his teeth I out. I wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Oh, I want to fuck no, him up I'm so bad. On. How's your head? Oh! What I've been dealing with. What are you going to do about this, Big B? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. Code? We're not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Let's see. Yeah, I'm like, I don't think I should show him the murdered phone. Snow White. We are gonna talk to him though. Let's Just see. tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Yeah, I'm right! You're full of shit! You're full of shit! Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Did he kill Snow? Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then mm. where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? No. What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Bunch of dumb shit. I'm gonna take the cash. You know, I really like spending time with you, Bigby. You're so pleasant. Let's be friends. Fuck I was kidding. I, I don't want. I want to be your friend. You then. always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I'm gonna take I'm the money. I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. Bluebeard like that shit. Bluebeard like that shit. He's like, yeah, take that. his money. Take his you money. You need to account for that. You can't just. There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. Crane, so shut where's up. Where's your brother? Look, smoke wait, the cigar. Like oh, oh look, I'm gonna do tell that. You where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. Faith, what? I don't know where he is now, but he what, didn't what, kill what, what, anybody. What'd you say about Faith? Faith? What'd you say? Look, I went to her apartment. I'm gonna smoke the no cigar afterwards, you though. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. We're trying to find him, bro. ID. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about. Don't worry, Vin. We're gonna get the cigar and we're gonna fucking smoke him with it. I'm gonna fuck him. Light his ass, bro. I'm saving that. That's nice. I wish I could blow this the smoke really and then the burn him. Ah, fuck! Stop, you fucker! Then talk! <gasps> so, <laughs> this is how it's gonna be. Yes. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. <sighs> Let me handle this. So far, I've been doing so good in getting him talking. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. Trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh, yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. That's enough. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. Must have. I don't know. We you don't even know what she stole? My boss was after. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. So let's talk about your boss then. 
Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. No, you're not. No, you're not. Can we pick up his whiskey and then slap him on the head with it? I'm pretty sure we can. Just carry this around. I'm pretty fucking it sure. It ain't illegal, is it? It ain't illegal, is it? Smashes. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Big B, you shit. <laughs> Last fuck chance. You, bitch. Who are you working for? Fuck you. You're a piece of shit, Big B. Beauty was wrong about you. You're just a sick. Ooh. You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone savage. was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? Crane, you you're about to talk. You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence. Now you can. What's going on down here? Nani? Here we go. Not ready for this. If it loads. The music. I love it so much. Love it way too much. Cinematography. Chef's kiss. Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. This shit is gonna be cray cray. The guy's still asleep, of course. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? So, I can explain. I got him talking. Using a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I'm not even gonna say anything. She caught me right handed. I'm not even gonna say anything. I hope it was worth your time. I mean, it was. We got a lot of valuable information. Let's be real. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, Welcome back, there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. I mean, you could have let us know that you weren't dead, but Snow. I mean... What is it? I'm glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. Oh shit. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this, and why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while, until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Damn! I'm the sheriff, that kinda hurt. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. <laughs> that hurt my sorry. heart. Yeah, you should be sorry, Snow. That hurt me. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. So what the fuck are you going to do? Can you turn into a wolf? No, doing you can't. Centuries. TJ is waiting inside. Oh, he was so freaked out last night. He wouldn't tell us much. 
Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. The poor little He's friend. pretty shaken up, though. So try not to be too... I'm not you know. gonna be mean to him. I can handle the kid. Okay. Uh, uh, Big B's good with kids. He's not gonna be like, I'm gonna fucking eat you. Like, no. DJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Yes, tadpoles. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk to them. Paul. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, finish. Cancel. No. What the hell are you doing? Toad's always doing some dumb shit, but I love him for it. Don't even get started with me, Sheriff. What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. I don't think you so. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything. Okay, Mr. Toad. No. I want an explanation. I'm just doing my job, Toad. Your job is to protect us. That's not what you've been doing. That's enough. The poor little tadpole. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. Yes, you must talk to the poor little boy. The poor little tadpole. This ain't over, Big B. Toad! Don't be a dick! TJ. The little tadpole. He's so cute. Like, it's I don't, all right. I don't want to kill Are you him. Ready to talk to Mr. He's Wolf? a cute little baby. I love his t-shirt though. I'm like, if there was a comment, I'd be like, kid, I love your shirt. Like, I love your shirt. Watch yourself, baby. You do anything to hurt me, boy. I'm not gonna hurt your kid. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. But that's the person who does Clem. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. It sounds like there, Clem. under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. Yeah, that's Clem. And when I that's hear that, sure I'm supposed to go underwater and yeah, stay it is. real still and quiet. That's the right, accent son. slips a lot. It slips a lot. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady. <laughs> oh, I just want to hold him. <laughs> Why? Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. You assholes! Fuck you! The Put lady the... fell in. But... But she didn't have her head on. That kind of sounds funny. I thought, said it. I thought she was going to pull me down, too. Oh. Because she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Oh, the poor little tablet. Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight of Toad, you fuck out off! I told you. It's dangerous out there. If someone saw you, leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This <coughs> is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. I'm gonna fuck you up, Toad. I swear to God. I'm so not you didn't fucking stay underwater. I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said... Stop laughing. 
And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, Wait you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, TJ. I'm sorry. Oh, don't but apologize, again, you precious no beast. There. Don't apologize. I home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> oh, the poor little tadpole. The Thank you, poor TJ. little tadpole. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. The poor little tadpole. He didn't do anything. <laughs> He's just a poor little boy. <laughs> I love the tadpole too that much. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> yeah, I'm not a dick like you, you think so. You want to look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. I'm assuming this was the body TJ was talking about. I, I think that's what this is the body he was talking about. I don't think he was talking about fates. Wow. I didn't realize gonna be okay you don't have to stay i want to stay on oh, my back it i'll just be popped. fine it's just a little strange i mean i'd be strange the glamour too, seeing is so my body. effective it's invasive but just do what you need to do that's weird i don't wear a brooch like that maybe it really belonged to her not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Let's look at the it's neck. Just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. Oh, my face was killing He said he wanted to run more tests. Tests on what? If the neck wound was the same. Might be a ribbon in her mouth too. Anything? Nothing. So it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? <laughs> She's like, please close her mouth. This is very awkward. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see. Can I... Oh, damn. Holding something in her hand, though. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? Just fucking. No marks on the knuckles. Oh. What was your core memory, Maybe bro? Maybe she was something? Maybe. Damn, it takes that. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. We're gonna break it, aren't we? We're gonna break it! Oh, fuck! Jesus, Bigby. Flowers? What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Track marks. Drug you used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. Oh my god. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one. Just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? Most likely. It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. There you go. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Damn, it's where they had Rope the cinder box. 
she was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Jeez, bro. Oh. All right, let's look at the buttons. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? I would be like, I'm just kinda, I'm let me do it. Okay, <laughs> she, she's like, let me do it. I can't. Are you still okay? She's obviously getting very creeped out and disturbed. I well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself. Up Ichabod, here. you Not psycho! Smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it, then. Fuck you! We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. Ichabod, I'm gonna fuck your ass up. We should I that. keep going. That, that's the first thing we gotta look at is the lingerie. First thing we gotta look at. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? Uh, uh, Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. What is that? Perfume. It's your perfume. How what? do you know what perfume I wear? Are you kidding me? Can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions? Apparently so. There's another pocket. I've the seen red? things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. I feel like... Oh, so it's like a unicorn. No, wait. Here. What does that mean? Oh. Piece of her hair. And a picture. Some freaky voodoo magic, bro. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Rose. I think I remember her sister in like the comics. I'm not exactly sure. Let I me guess. feel like I do remember her. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? That's what we're trying to find out. Oh! She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Right. Where is she? Her foot that wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. She looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. Oy. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. Jeez, We have bro. to go tell Holly. Right. 
Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Bro! Shut your ass up, Ichabod. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. You're staying here. And do nothing like I always do. You're not coming with me, Snow. I should go. There we go. Prince Charming, is that this you, whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. Oh, I You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Sorry, I know you all hate me. I know you guys do. I'm uh, sorry. Holly, I need entertainment. Jack, shut your ass up. This'll do. And then there's that fucking handsome Jack ripoff. Yeah, you scared now. You're scared as fuck, aren't you? Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. Get it's your really hand is. off he of me. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Get off of me. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. Shut up, just Jack. just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. Sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. I'm gonna fuck you Baby, up, bro. come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button. Now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. I'm gonna fuck you up! That got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Just don't Gren's pretend sister, like you Holly's give a sister. fuck. Holly's sister has been missing for what? few days now and we haven't heard word one about it from anyone hey easy ah, fuck what do i do it's an honest question ah. go fuck on up a beanstalk jackie boy Grant, go fuck on a beanstalk let me tell you go bro i don't give a fuck all right then actually have there been any updates i I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. Hey, don't talk to her like that. I'm gonna fuck Where you up, bro. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been. I thought she told. She changed for a second. Hello, Scotty doesn't know. All right, clear out. Give her some room. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. I knew this would happen. Lily, god damn it. Dude, my dogs keep scratching on the door and they're annoying the crap out of me. Holly. I ain't got nothing for you, Wolf. I feel so bad for her. Alright, I think that's... Oh, for fuck's sake. 
I told your ass to stay home. What could you possibly I'm want gonna, right one now? One second. I'm gonna go. Let these damn dogs in. I didn't door. agree to anything. So. I have to do something, all right? And no, this is at least what I can do right now. Yeah, she knows. So your business is done here. I swear, my dogs like cannot live two seconds without me. They just start scratching and scratching and scratching. It's so annoying. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want. It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. God damn, that's so fucked up. That's why I told you to stay, Snow. So I told you to stay. Let me see. Does this help? No, that makes it worse. Lockers. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite monthly. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Poor Holly. She's like, dude, I feel like that's like the only family she has is like her sister, obviously, and then Gren, but he just left because she asked him to and stuff, so. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target. I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. And where was that? She was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got I'm going to talk to you. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? To no. Him? No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. Looking up for our own. Yes. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's it's a kind of it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations. I'm like, I owe her that much. I fucked up her bar. Have the dead body, bro. It's okay. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Of course. Like, I'm not gonna be really? a dick. Thanks. It just made everything easier. I like when they give you positive reinforcement in this game. Like, I'm like, yes, I did do good, didn't I?